Welcome back. Red flags. Red flags pop up immediately when you're the newly sworn mayor of Houston and the housing authority appointed by your predecessor flat out ignores your request to put on pause a half billion dollars worth of so-called affordable rental projects. Of course, this is the same housing authority which gave the green light to 800 Middle Street. <coughs> that controversial low-income development surrounded by severely contaminated property. This week we learned that instead of just giving Mayor John Whitmire an opportunity to review the deals, the Authority Board and its CEO David Northern approved 13 proposed tax-abated uh, abated complexes and one fell sweep. The mayor responded by saying, <coughs> pardon me, saying he will be taking action to ensure future transparency my translation to that is they are all fired tomorrow. I agree. Uh, I, I, I know that he, you know, as Bill explained before when he ran, when you come into that office, there's so many, you don't know where to shoot your bullets at because you don't have enough guns, you know, things that you see are problems and you want to try to correct, you know. But this one, uh, this right here, this housing authority, which people say is separate from the city, it is not. Um, these people are uh, run, the mayor appoints who leads it. And the people who are appointed, they have to ask the mayor first, but not council. This is one of the few boards that council does not get to approve. Mm. This whole board needs to be looked at, and it needs to be looked at to see, because I don't agree just because people don't have money that they have to choose to live in low income or uh, affordable housing, that their lives should be put in jeopardy, <laughs> that their children. A study came out this week about the generational effect of people living in that contamination, what it does to their children and everything. We already know about lead and how that lingers and all of that. But you're talking about uh, carcinogens and you're talking about all kinds of things. You don't know what the effect is on and yet they're continuing to build this property. He needs to not only look at changing the board, but see how he can stop anything because if he just got approved on Friday, I don't think Monday is too late to say pop, 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 pop. Gary, yeah, I, I got a simple answer. Fire all of them and do it now. And then unravel what they did. But the, the whole concept here, we, when you talk about affordable housing and what they're doing here, and, and the, it's a huge problem. It's not affordable. There's a handful of units that they, they say they'll give to the poor, and then they don't pay property taxes. This is a bad deal for the city, all in all. And I agreed with things Tamara said before. I don't want to put these people in apartments anymore. I want to put them in houses. For 300000 a unit, we could, they could buy houses. So give them houses and have them be able to vest into it so they have owned something. Correct. Makes sense. I'm going to go to Bill if you're not going to... Okay. <laughs> Bill, uh -oh. what happens well, here next? So <laughs> these, all of these deals have been put on hold at the request of Mayor Turner. And they've been on hold for a number of months. And I think all these people realized they were about to be replaced, and so they rushed through these deals probably in what was going to be their last meeting. How do you think about this? Almost all these deals are outside the city of Houston. That's really weird. Yeah. Okay.